Well, here I am at the uh, Big Bear Branch Library, where tonight the Friends of the Library are doing their annual reception of the international students who come up here to work at our ski resorts. Let's go in and chat with some of them and see what's going on. Well, we're going to start with the food first. Here what they do is they love pizza. Pizza is an international food, so they don't take any chances. And they have good old pizza. And they're donated. Are they donated? Donated by the various uh, pizza restaurants. And uh, Papa John's. And we have Mama. Mama Pizzeria, Mama's Pizzeria is the new one by the uh, Fudge, yeah. Fudge Theater. We have Village Pizza, Don Gio's, Domino's, No Name Pizza, Little Caesar. Wow. And I think I forgot somebody. Yeah, that's Sassy Mama's down there. Yeah. Well, cool. Where is that Sassy Mama's? By the theater. Oh, this is so neat. And they have grapes. Grapes, cookies, coffee. Cookies. Beverages. And Nina. And Nina, hi. <laughs> wow, how cool. Doesn't that look good? Oh. Wow. I know, Ron, you're salivating. I know it. Well, we're going to go see see the people who are here. Okay, yes. Wow, okay. here's the crowd. For a lot of you, this is a brand new experience. Let me introduce a couple of my staff so that you'll recognize them when you walk in. The lady right here in the uh, Santa Claus hat is Jamie Morrow. Jamie? Jamie is my children's uh, librarian, so she does all the children's programs here at the library. Okay? The lady's sort of uh, hiding. You want to wave your hand? This is Marta Neely. Marta is our literacy specialist. How many of you may have difficulties with English? If you do, see that lady, okay? Because that's what her specialty is, is working with people who need to improve their English skills. Okay, it is a free program. So if you're having any types of difficulties, definitely find Marta. Now I'm looking around to see, she's also on the Literacy Coalition, okay? She's responsible for this evening's event. So you need to thank her for all this pizza that has arrived, okay? <laughs> now, we also have a lady by the name of Jan Richter, and I think she's cutting pizza at the moment. Secretary for the Friends of the Library, and I'm going to introduce you to him now. His name is David Fultz. David, David is a retired professor, and I'll let you speak for yourself, David. Professor de Español, muy poco. Pero me da mucho gusto. Uh, darles la uh, muy cordial bienvenida a todos ustedes que hablan español. En un momento les voy a hablar también en, en portugués un poquito. Sí, me llamo David Foltz. Uh, yo soy miembro de la Junta Directiva uh, de los Amigos de la Biblioteca de Big Bear, que patrocina uh, este evento esta noche. Y como creo que yo soy el único eh, en la junta que, que sí habla español, así que me, me toca a mí uh, darles esta presentación. Okay. I would like to introduce to you the city manager for the city of Big Bear Lake, Mr. Jeff Matthews. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. I can interpret what David just said. Welcome to Big Bear, the home of awesome skiing, radical riding, and tremendous snow. We are thrilled to have you guys here and to be gathered in our home because you're going to be our front door to our visitors, the people who are coming here, 
who want to have a little bit of Big Bear, you're going to provide an awful lot of Big Bear. You're our front door, you're our greeters, you are our workers, you are our helpers, you're our colleagues, and now you are our community family. It is a thrill to have you here. In the time that you'll be here, you're going to be able to do a number of things that are even beyond what happens at Summit and Bear Mountain. The things that you're going to do here is learn Los Angeles. You're going to learn the people of Southern California. You're going to be able to have an experience that I had when I was 19 years old. And I came here and said, wow, this was really kind of off the scale. Nothing that I anticipated, nothing that I really envisioned. An experience I had, I captured and put in the back of my mind. Many years later, in the last, for the last 20 to 22 years, I was in Santa Monica and Beverly Hills. And that's where I work, that's where I reside, that's where I did my business. And had an opportunity later in life, a dream to be fulfilled, return back to Big Bear. And today I'm the leader of Big Bear. And to be here tonight with a gathering of folks that are going to have a better career than I had, a better future than all of us have had, is tremendous and exciting for me. Capture every opportunity you have while you have here. Talk with everybody. You're going up the lift lines, in the cafeteria, at the bus stops, at the hotels, the cafes, coffee, talk. Communication, picking up, learning, becoming part of Los Angeles is what you're going to do. But Los Angeles in a very unique environment. Many of the people coming up here from Newport Beach and from Beverly Hills and Los Angeles and all other parts of Southern California, including San Diego, are going to say to you, Wow, this is really a unique. This is a great place, isn't it? And you're going to be the ones who will be responding and be able to interact with them. I'll also say this house that we're in is a tremendous one. It's the house of wisdom, the house of intelligence. It's the beauty of the word. And the more you read, the better you talk. The more you read, the more articulate you become. And that kind of leads to my third and last part. It's your career, it's your future. Today is only the beginning. What happens for the next few weeks, the next few months here, it's going to be great. And I hope that again, much like I did when I was 19, and captured something and held on to it, and then let it grow and nurture a career around it. Each of you, I'm looking at lawyers, I'm looking at investment bankers, I'm looking at executives, I'm looking at doctors, I'm looking at entrepreneurs. That's who you are. It all begins with what you're doing right now and communicating, reaching out, talking. Don't ever step back and say, no, I don't know if I can say that clearly. Maybe I should leave it be. Forget about it. You go for it. You go out there and be as aggressive as possible. We are thrilled to have you. Take advantage of us. Take advantage of this wonderful opportunity that you have here. And again, next year, when hopefully many of you return, we can talk about the experience you had, and more importantly, 20 years from now, you could say, yeah, that night in Big Bear talking with that guy and these people kind of made an impression upon me. It kind of gave me another direction as to what the future is going to be. Believe me, you're our future. We're thrilled to have you. Thanks for coming. I would like to introduce most of you already know her, Cheryl Hightower from Bear Mountain. It's so nice to see you here. You know, um, Glenn, come on over here. You guys all remember Glenn. We met all of you when we were traveling this summer. And I want to say again, thank you to each and every one of you for inviting us to your cities because we had a ball while we were traveling all over South America. We saw places and experienced things that we would never have had the opportunity to do if it wasn't for each and every one of you. So we're hoping that you're going to enjoy our country as much as we enjoyed yours. We, we just had a great time every place we went. We, saw things that we would have never had had the opportunity to see or do if it wasn't for you and this program. 
So I hope that each one of you has a great time while you're in Big Bear. Um, I know that the snow and the temperatures here are very different to what you're accustomed to in your home countries. But um, the blessing is that if this weather had not happened when it did, we would have been unable to put you to work. So we're glad you're here. We're glad the snow is here. And I think you're all going to have a great time while you're visiting here. Please take advantage of um, the time that you have here in Southern California because there's so much to see and so much to do. And I, I just, I'm, I'm excited for you. Um, Glenn, this was Glenn's first trip to South America on this, hire, on this recruiting trip. This year was my third trip to South America and the first time to Costa Rica. And um, each year that we have gone, we have complained to CETUSA that we work too much and don't get to play enough. So they're getting much better at helping us to have the opportunity to see each one of the cities where you come from and the places where we came for the job fairs. We've had more opportunities to um, take a city tour in Lima, to take a city tour in Santiago, to travel to the coast, to Viña del Mar while we're in Chile. Uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. Every one of you comes from very special places, and each has their own special kind of beauty. And we've been blessed to uh, have an opportunity to see and enjoy some of that. So we want you to do the same thing while you're here in California. We want you to go to Disneyland. We want you to see the ocean. Uh, many of you are from Brazil, and I know you live close to the ocean because we had an opportunity to visit those coastal cities. But see as much of California and the surrounding area as you can. Well, we are really glad that you're here. Big Bear is glad that you're here. You want to say hello, Glenn? There's a couple of things, you guys. When we were down there, we had talked about having an international night at the resort and for someone to pick up some recipes from your homeland. And if you guys have done that, um, if you could see me at uh, Bear Mountain, I'm going to be over at Bear Mountain Employee Services. And what we'll do, we'll set up something with our food and beverage managers and we'll order whatever type of food you guys want. And we're going to have it probably beginning of February. So we're thinking to have a nice night. We tend to have a few parties, what we call them employee mixers. We're going to have one scheduled probably uh, second or third week in January, but we're thinking we're going to let you guys get all settled first before we have the international one where we're going to have all your type of food. I think, too, I've traveled a lot uh, since I've been out here uh, in California. And if you guys have any questions about any places or anything like that, you can always give me a call at the Bear Mountain office. I tend to have a little more free time than Cheryl does and uh, the other ones at the uh, Snow Summit office. So if you haven't had a chance to go by Bear Mountain, I'm sure a lot of you guys want to do some snowboarding, and that's the place you're going to go. So uh, just stop in the office and see me. There they are. They're at the pizza table. Boy, they the crowd. They were hungry too. They all come in, getting their pizza, getting their drinks. We got a whole variety of drinks here. They're all lined up. Really something. Hello. How are you? Fine. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh, I gave you Most of them are from Brazil, as Pamela Hyman said. Go ahead, walk by me. How are you? These are the best of the best. Uh, Cheryl Hightower, who went down on the recruiting trip, you know, these guys, they're happy to be here. Where are you all from? Chile. Chile. Chile? Chile? Yeah. Very good. Is that the highest? The Andes? The highest? The Andes. The highest mountain in, in, in the Western Hemisphere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Have you climbed it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Skiing? Oh yeah, that's why you can ski in Chile, can't you? Good. What do you think of our resorts? I haven't Just two days you've been here? No, but I see. Got a week. Gotta make some money first. 
That's right. These all these guys get paid uh, to come up here. They get the, the regular wages that all the rest are paid at the uh, resorts, and then as they make money, and then then on their days off, they get to know people and they go around Southern California, the number one place they want to go to Disneyland. And uh, they usually get there before they go. They are on break down in South America. So that's why they come up here. They're not missing school. They're on, uh, I don't know what kind of a break, but it's about a three-month break that they're on. And uh, so they, they really get to know the United States. You're on break? What break are you on? You're three summer months? Summer vacation. Summer vacation. That's right. It's summer. Yeah. And, South America now. Uh, sure. Very good. Wow. Good having you here. We gotta get some more drinks. Well, good. All these guys. Hi, Pamela. Hi, man. Hi, Ron. How are you? Another doing? wonderful event. This is co sponsored by the Friends of the Library. Correct. And also Bear Mountain. Right. And uh, Setusa that brings the children. The, the, young adults here from other countries. Right. This is summer vacation for them. Oh, Can you get over that? Oh, I think that's pretty They love remarkable. this. Well, the Friends of the Library have done this for several years. This is their official reception and welcome to Big Bear. Exactly. It's always good. And then all the pizza stores providing all the pizza. and Another great event that we can be proud of. Yeah. And this gives us an opportunity to tell the kids, excuse me, young adults, yes. uh, when you get to be my age, I start thinking me too. everybody is a kid, right? Yeah. But it uh, uh, gives us an opportunity to tell them all about the library cards and using sure. the internet and the computers and checking out material, the DVDs and the videos, and, uh, and welcome them here to the... That's right, the sure. And a lot of them use the library. Yes. Now, do you issue cards to them, library cards? Oh, yes. So you know where the books are, exactly. whatever they're taking going. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, we're so proud of our library. Uh, you yeah. and all your staff and the friends of the library. Well, I, I, ha I have to say one thing. Big Bear's library staff have a reputation in the county library system of trying not to close. So we get a little embarrassed when we have to close due to weather or road conditions. Oh, sure. I'll tell you, when you have 29 Palms and Joshua Tree and Yucca <laughs> Valley and Barstow even closing, uh, sure. we finally closed yesterday. Oh, uh, well, I'm everybody glad we're did. Open again. That's right. We're Good. Here. Well, thanks, Pamela. And Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. You too, And to all your staff. Thank you. Well, that concludes this segment here at the uh, Branch Library in Big Bear. And these are students from South America. They all have to be in college. They, it costs them a lot of money uh, to get up here to participate in this. The money that they make at the resorts uh, is just not very much. Uh, as it is for others. So anyway, good to have them here every year. Every ski resort in the country, by the way, has uh, people from South America and other countries work at their resorts for a three-month period during their summer vacations. So that's it. Now don't go away. I'll be back right after these commercials.